Hello and welcome to the show. This is the pregame and I'm Josh. This is day six. Let's get it. How do you like that intro? <laughs> day trading is risky, so protect your money. And welcome to Eva Trades. Taking a look at the progress so far, this is, like I said, day six. I'm up $694. I'm not where I want to be, but that's okay. That's okay. We got time. We got all the time in the world. This is about just slowly growing the account, just baby steps. So the market's been slow. Here's your gap scan for today. It is August 29th at 625 in the morning on the simulator. I'm going to go ahead and push play. We have five minutes till the opening bell. And off of the gap scanner, I have OLB, BWAY, the two leading gappers. And then further down, I pulled off BBBY, even though it's got a larger float. It is the only other one that looked somewhat decent. And then over here on the other screen, I have KOLD off of the high of day momentum scanner. We'll mark out some support levels and get this party started. That's all I got right there. So you've got this uh, consolidation pattern that happened here. And then we broke through and we formed a higher low, higher high with no follow through up at $11 and rejected. And now pulling back breaking the this previous low if you can call that a low it looks like a low to me it pretty much is i'm gonna call it a low so now we have a lower low so the bears looking to form a lower high and another lower low and if i look at the larger time frame the 15 minute time frame we have a red candle with a big upper wick so it's a good chance here we are going to see some more consolidation maybe down to this uh, area right here. Over here to the main screen, let's take a look at OLB stair stepping up. Again, consolidating on the five minute time frame here. Breaking out over that consolidation point. Back testing this level, not quite making it there, but still back testing. Another sideways consolidation, bull flag, if you want to call it that. We broke out, we held the high, and now we've got ourselves another higher low. So you've got a higher high, a higher low, higher high, higher low. That is the definition of an uptrend. We're following this EMA, using that as our guide on the way up. A little extended on the larger time frames. That's fine. Nice volume. I might expect to see continuation here. Nice big green candle with some green volume. If I could trade pre-market, I might would take a trade here with my stop loss below 232. Looking for a break through the high. So we do have a support as long as bulls can hold. So now bulls breaking out there. So this is definitely now a higher low confirmed as we break out on this level. So we have a support there at 232. Support at 225. So there goes the there goes the bulls breaking out over that consolidation level there. BWAY, great big move first thing this morning, giving half of it back, consolidating sideways here with the high, low, lower high, higher low. Anything above 528 remains. A higher low bulls are looking to see the price be pushed back up above this level right now the bears are winning on the one minute time frame you see we got a little higher low with a higher high but no follow through and now we got a lower low so from here the bears would want to see a bounce and a lower high and a follow through down to the downside with a lower low on bbby We broke through it over here, had consolidated. We broke through this level, looked good. And then we got this scissors look. So on a scissors, you see that initial surge down and then a little bit more consolidation and then you'll see a bounce. Most times you'll see a nice bounce and I like to play those. Those are nice. 
but I never expect to see it go back up through the highs, at least not right away. So we put in that lower high, now we have a higher low and a lower high. Bears pushing down here for a lower low, lower than that one, but not holding it yet. Right now, looking for a lower high on the one minute and a lower low for the bears. So right now, I would say there is some bearish sentiment to these stocks. And with 20 seconds to go till the market opens, I'm not really sure at this moment where I'm going to be placing my first trade, but I got a feeling OLB is a good candidate. So far, OLB on the five minute is not holding this breakout level. It might close above it, but right now it's struggling. It closed right at it. So here we go. The market's open and uh, good morning. Thanks for joining me today. If you saw yesterday's trading in the small account, um, that was a mess. I mean, I was green, but I mean, the uh, recording was a mess. I can tell you about that here soon. For now, I want to focus here on what's going on. So we're pulling back to this support on the one minute. It's too bad we're breaking out here already. I would love to have jumped in this. BWAY trading below the VWAP. Okay, now we're failing. BBBY dropping below VWAP. BWAY trading below VWAP. Pulling back here on OLB. I'll, I'll jump in it right there just once. A great big five minute candle. Um, it was a breakout. I'm gonna get back out of it, break even. I'm just looking up at that five minute candle, I don't like it. But I am gonna try BWAY. BWAY with a pretty big spread. If you look down here, I'm holding my order up there. I'll put it back so that you can take a look. See the spread here. Here's the bid. Here's the ask. It's not a huge spread, but it's enough that, well, there we go. So there's some profit. So I'm going to take my profit there. In a trade over here on KOLD, taking some profit. I jumped in it real quick there. See if it's going to go higher. Just got to hold that low. If it doesn't, I'm out. The low of the candle, I want it to hold it. Nope, I'm out. So taking a loss on it, that's fine. But didn't want to hold that. Looking back over here. So that was a nice move on BWAY. But failing there. And that's, that's to be expected trading below the VWAP like this. Um, I wasn't expecting this to make a breakout move or anything. Look over here at KOLD. You can see it's pulling back there. That's why I didn't want to hold it. KOLD. So remember we said on the five minute time frame we had this higher low, higher high, and with no follow through, the bear's putting in a lower low, looking for that lower high, getting it so far. But we do have some nice volume here for the bulls. But still with two minutes to go in that candle, the bears might get their lower low here. Possibly. I'm in over here, taking a quick profit right there, only $17 off of OLB. Still don't like that five minute candle. It scares me a little bit. It's pretty big, a lot of volume, and it's going to close soon. So I'm not trusting this bounce off the VWAP here. So like I said, some bearish sentiment in the market here. Okay, coming down to that support. I'll buy the support right there. We'll see what happens. Oops. 
Um, <laughs> I hit the buy button on the wrong stock. I bought BWAY instead. So I'll buy that support. How about that? That's that one from back here, that pivot 222. See it make a move up. That might be all the bounce I get. I'm going to take the profit while I got it. Quick 50 bucks there. I'm not going to get crazy here. We're trading below the VWAP now. And that is some damn good tea. I got to tell you, this stuff. I don't know what it is. But it's good. There is KOLD coming down to that support. But I'm not going to buy it because we already talked about what the bears are looking for here. They're looking for that lower low. And that five minute candle closing like that with that much volume. Oh, the bounce following through here on OLB. Should I buy this? Let's buy it. Buy it. Look for that quick move up. I'm selling it right there real quick. Not going to hold that with that five minute candle looking the way it does. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm at my daily goal. I'm down 10 bucks on cold, but I'm up roughly 240 over here on OLB and BWAY. So now I sit and wait. I'm at my daily goal. I'm not going to make the same mistake I did yesterday or on my last trading day and give it all back. I want to see... I mean, I like this, but it's coming up now to that line. See how it got rejected? 243, and that really is not even a real significant level to me anymore, but... It's obviously being played off of. Well, no, it is a significant level. Look, because up here in the five minute, you see how we tried to get above it. We tried to get above it. We couldn't. These All three of these candles failed to close above it. So that is a real significant level. 243, that's the line in the sand. And here we go. So the bears were anticipating that bounce to get that lower high and then a lower low to get follow through on this breakdown. So. Anybody who is a bear getting in here, shorting this stock, putting their stop losses above the high, you got nothing to worry about. You're profitable right now. That's great. At equilibrium here on BWAY with that low, lower high. Well, that's a higher high. Low, high, higher, low, lower, high, higher, low. Tightening range, which way will it break? To break 545 to be bullish or 527 to be bearish. And if it breaks bullish, I'm not going to buy it because we're below the VWAP. There's the bull break. Let's see if we can get over the top of that five minute candle here. And this resistance actually at 555. Bull break, we do have some volume coming into it tempting very tempting but the fact that we're trading down here below the VWAP I'm just not interested yet and that's kind of why right there not enough bullish sentiment for me to be getting all crazy and wild here Yeah, today I decided to pull back on the reins a little bit, not trade so actively. I went back and studied the last few days of trading that I've done, and I've noticed some things that I got uh, carried away a little bit. I In the $100,000 challenge, uh, momentum was there. I was able to get a little careless and really take advantage of some situations. But now that the market isn't quite as hot right now, I'm having to pull back on those reins and, and not be quite, quite as aggressive and just really take my time here. So yeah, yesterday in the, in the, um, in the small account 
challenge when I went live. And sorry, I didn't announce I was going to go live. I just decided, hey, I'm going to go live, trade the pre-market and see how we do. Well, it turns out the pre-market was pretty slow yesterday. And so there wasn't much opportunity. I did manage to take one trade and made like 37 bucks on it. But I looked up in, uh, on the YouTube channel and for some reason it was recording multiple live videos, live streams all, all at once. Even after I stopped the live stream, it was still showing live stream that I was live and it was weird. And so I went and deleted all the extra copies and just kept the one finding out later that, oh, all of those copies were the collective video. And the part that I kept was only a small chunk of the video. Um, so if you watch the video, you'll notice that it just kind of like cuts right in. There's no intro. You get to see the trade, but and I think there's the outro. So, yeah, I kept the lap. Oh, uh, the la latter chunk of it. So, and that's okay because it was really long and boring anyways. So I was going to edit it anyways, but yeah, it was just really weird. So I don't know what happened there with YouTube, why it was taking multiple cuts of the video and why it was still showing I was live when I wasn't. Whatever. <laughs> So what's my PL today? Anybody good at math? 153 plus 92 roughly is 155, 145 minus 10 over here on KOLD. So I'm up a hundred and or oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I guess I'm not good at math, am I? Hundred. Okay, let's do that again. So 92 and 53, right? So two and three is five, right? So 155 plus plus 90 plus 100 is 255. So you're looking at 245 minus $10 is 235. So I'm up $235 today, roughly. So hitting my daily goal and I'm, I'm happy with that. That's, that's what you want. Let me see. That's not going to put me at a, at the average that I want to be at. Let's see what that does do here. Scroll down here to the pregame. 235. So that puts me at an average of 155, $155 a day. So I got to step it up a little bit. August 27th, um, 29th. I wonder what I need to get back up to 200 a day. If I made $400 tomorrow, that would get me close. If I made $500. Oh yeah, there we go. So I need $500 tomorrow to get back up to that $200 average. Yeah, not worried about it. I'm not at my account highs right now. $929 in profit. Let's see if we can pass that $1,000 mark tomorrow. I'd be okay with that. Update the website here. So there we go. Great. Oh, all in all, it's a good day. We did it. Hoorah. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Let me think about something here. It's today, so tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be making a video tomorrow. We'll tell, we'll play that by ear. I've got a prior engagement, so I might not. Uh, we'll see. So take care of yourself. Bye for now. <laughs>